the game of soccer has been awesome to me and the fact that it allowed me an education um, it got me out of a interesting family situation at home with my dad being a drug addict and alcoholic and um, was very um, abusive to our family. And the game of soccer was always there for Dawn Crow, a two-time All-American in high school. It allowed her to make a decision that would change the rest of her life. Um, my goal was I was either going to go to University of Virginia and be an electrical engineer, or I was going to be a teacher or coach if I went to Carolina. Ultimately, Crow chose North Carolina. It was there she really discovered who she was as a person, both on and off the field. Once I decided to go to Carolina, it was either going to be teaching or coaching, and I've done both of those. So, you know, it's, to me, like I said, it's about developing and, and giving back to the game that has given me so much. Because it was, growing up, it was my outlet from my mom and dad having a divorce and some of the other stuff. It was kind of my sanctuary. And so that was, you know, what, what I got out of sports. During her career, the Tar Heels compiled a 97-1-1 overall record along with four ACC championships and four national championships. Um, you know, it was absolutely an uh, amazing experience. Um, I think the one thing that you'll get as you get into the higher levels of competition, it's very stressful, but at the same time it's very rewarding. Crow has many memories of her playing days, especially the 1992 national championship game. My junior year, we were playing in the national championship game, and it was one of the few times that the games were on TV during that period of time. Uh, so it was on ESPN. It was the first time it wasn't tape delayed. And we were at home, and it poured down rain, and our field was as sloppy and gross as could be. And we were the home team, so we wore white. And um, I had dark colored underwear on and dark colored sports bra. For a national televised game. Good news is, is after about 10 minutes anyway, you could, it wouldn't matter because it was all muddy anyway. But I just remember my mom going, I can't believe you showed up with that, you know. While thankful for all the championships won, Crow still has one regret about her college career. I will say that the one thing that's aggravating to me is the fact that my one college loss was to Duke University. And it was, and it was our senior year and it was one of the first losses at home that we ever had, and then we lost, or we tied Notre Dame um, in St. Louis. By the end of her college career, Crow was in the top 25 for assists in school history, which was unique for a player who typically played defense. To this day, Crow's senior class is still the all-time winningest class in NCAA women's soccer history. Although all these experiences has helped her grow as a person, she is much more than just a soccer player or coach. It's part of me. It, I would never say that it defines me. Again, it's what you remember about the whole process anyway, is you know, who, who those people were and, and what they were about besides soccer. After her playing days as both a college and professional athlete, she felt the desire to coach and pay back the sport that had given her so much. Her coaching career consisted of being an assistant at Virginia Commonwealth, UNC Wilmington, Mississippi State, in Alabama before becoming the head coach at Duquesne and finally an assistant at Fairfield. I, I learned very quickly in order to move up the food chain in Division One, you had to move. So I never felt like you could kind of establish a home base or really get involved in the community. To be able to relate to the student athlete um, is the hardest part of our job because you're so invested in these you know, especially like for college, the 18 to 21 year olds that you're going, look, we're here for you. We know you're going to make mistakes, you know, because that's that part where you're trying to figure yourself out who you are and what you're about. And, you know, but it's about taking ownership of those mistakes and learning and growing from them because that's why you want to make them. <laughs> and, you know, without previous coaches doing that for me, you know, who knows what I would be doing. If, if soccer didn't help. And, and so you have a sense of paying it back to the student athletes. You know, I, I say a lot of times, you know, what's your legacy got to be? And, you know, if the game of soccer, if, if I died, you know, 
I would hope that people would come back and say, oh my God, I love playing there. Uh, you know, that, and, and that's what drives you as a coach is not necessarily, you know, the wins and losses are great because it's something you can compare, but it's the process of the character development or, or kind of the process within the character development that makes the ride so rewarding from a coaching standpoint. After coaching in college, Crow moved back to her hometown to be the head girls soccer coach at Plano East Senior High School, as well as a youth coach at FC Dallas. However, her schedule in Texas was just too hectic and she wanted to be closer to family. We had just had twins, um, so Augie and Gerald are now 17 months. Um, and the biggest part is, you know, my, my life in Dallas was just chaotic. I was going from one thing to another, to another, to another. When I started looking for other opportunities, it was important to me, one, to be close to family, so that was part of the move up here, but to be <clears throat> in a situation where I could have an impact on creating something that would reestablish a great tradition. Crow then moved to Stevens Point to take the head women's soccer coach position. With the team struggling in recent years, Crow needed to set new goals for the players and redirect the program. Um, I came in with a four-year plan. Um, first year was to be competitive, and I think we established that. Um, the one goal we didn't hit was to make the conference tournament. Um, we, I guess the good part is we were playing in the last game where the game made. Um, if we won, we would have gone to the tournament, so at least it, we were playing for something. Um, Next year, I want to be in the top half of the conference. Um, I'd like to be in the top four, not really in the top six aspect. Um, and I, you know, I think that the kids we have coming in, I think that that is an e easy goal. I'd like to be ranked in the region. Um, I'd like to, um, you know, make some noise on the national scene. Um, ultimately, our four-year goal would be to be the team to beat in our region and challenging for a national title. If you trust the process of getting to those goals, then you're going to get to a point where it's going to create the success. And so that's kind of, we deal with more of the process with the kids. We talk about our goals as a coaching staff, and then we hope to achieve based on all of it coming together. Another part of the process of rebuilding the program is recruiting, which will be key in the years to come. We have a transfer that should be released soon from a Division I major program. Um, she's coming here. So from a recruiting standpoint, we have done phenomenally in getting kids here that want to be here, that will contribute. Um, I think right now we're sitting on nine kids for next year um, that will push the starters for this year to try to keep their spot. We're recruiting for numbers, but we're also recruiting for the right people, and I think we've done that. She has her own heart and determination, but she also, I think, knows the people to look for. Um, and you kind of need a team that is determined and actually wants to be here, and it's not just for fun. And she's starting to really recruit girls who are like that. So that, and then just her knowledge about the game in general, is just really going to turn that around, I think. She wants players that play with passion and play with heart, and if you have that, you definitely will succeed. Even though she's only been here at UW-Stevens Point for a short while, she has already made a great impact on the players. She instills a good work ethic. She wants us to be um, motivated to make our teammates better, and play, playing 100% during practices will give us a, a better edge during games. I think the biggest advice she gives us, which is pretty much every day, is to leave it, out all, leave it all out on the field. Um, she always says, like, the worst thing you can do is think what if. Like, if you make sure you don't have a what if, that you couldn't have possibly done anything more. And if the end result isn't what we expected or what we wanted, but we gave everything we had, then that's kind of all you can really ask for. With Coach Crow, the players know the program is in good hands and are looking forward to the future. Um, they are definitely going to be extremely successful. Um, I would say within five years if they weren't going to NCAA championship and not like being in the final four, I would be shocked. Soccer can be more than just a game. It can be an experience that shapes who a person can be, just as it did for Don Crow. Soccer gave me an opportunity to really figure out me 
as a person and I'm forever going to be grateful for that and if I can help other women figure out who they are and what they want to accomplish, why not? It's a very empowering um, place to be in and I, you know, I wish more, people, more females could be in that situation.